Hello, family. We welcome everybody today to another episode of Think About It. Our word today, um, somewhat ominous, but could be very, very enlightening and very encouraging and very productive for us. And that word is beware. Beware. So, of course, we want to get a definition. And it means to be on one's guard to take care of, to recognize by being cautious of a danger. Beware. That could be related to anything um, from health-wise to relationships to jobs, but beware. But we want to look at something specifically as we talk about Beware. First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 reads this way. And I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. Now, of course, this does not mean that you're praying 24 hours a day nonstop. We all have responsibilities in life. So you're not praying 24-7. However, what the Bible is telling us, though, is to have a consistent prayer life. And here is what I want you to think about. You need to be beware. You need to be aware. Beware when prayer becomes difficult for you. Be cautious because that's dangerous. That's for you, for me. Beware when it's not difficult not to talk to God. We need to be aware of that. We need to be cognizant of that. We need to be very cautious about that. Because what we have to understand is that our enemy, the devil, is 24-7. 24-7. He's about going about seeking whom he can devour, whom he can destroy. He's going about to see who has allowed themselves to become weakened by not conversing with God, by not talking to God. Prayer is not just about asking, asking, asking. Just sometimes take a moment, and all of us are guilty. Take a moment to just talk to God. Just pray. Beware if prayer has become easier to avoid, to just not do, to the point where you can go days without talking to God. We need to be aware of that. And we need to take it very seriously. Because even if you're not reading your Bible as you should, and most Christians don't, maybe the Bible is not available, maybe you weren't near a Bible, maybe you didn't pass the Bible, maybe you forgot your Bible. But brothers and sisters, how do we forget to talk to God? How how do we not talk to God on the way to work? How do we not talk to God sitting in a chair? How do we not Talk to God and yet can put in hours watching movies and not talk to God. So I want to say to you and to myself, beware, 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 pay attention. If it's no longer difficult, 
for you to go without prayer. Brothers and sisters, beware. I really need you to think about it.